Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltimore and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we left off last time, we took a rather long journey to find the Mummy Lord, destroy all of his pieces, and now we're going to go save the painter, I guess. Even though I know deep down in my heart that he is a terrible, terrible person and deserves everything coming to him. I also need the Torch of Revocation. Which I'm going to give to Shadowheart to cut around. And she can lead the path, actually. I also did some inventory management during the video, or between videos. Because it was terrible, and now look, it's much, much more... I mean, it's not perfect, but it's much more... Manageable. There you go, that's the word I'm looking for. Anyways, let's go upstairs and see what's going on. We need to go the right direction. That would be a good start. Uh, this way. It's hard to get through the house, honestly, with the camera angles a little bit. That's where the two of them are. We're not going there. We need to go upstairs. For Ooh, Can I just click here and then we'll just go there? Nice. Alright. We're gonna get take some damage from the Phantasmal Force, probably. Yep. For sure. Taking a little bit. We're gonna go smack around that painting real quick. Keep moving. Go hit that. Oscar. Oscar. What a very angry spirit. Also, can we loot this? Yes. We should get out of here and finish this thing before we keep getting hit by phantasmal forces. Actually, I think it might have worn... Nope, it's still hitting us. Or saving versus it, kinda. We're still taking damage, though. Little bits at a time. Uh, I'm gonna use Karalak, I think, as our talker. Or Jihiro would work too. They're both equally okay talking characters. Let's go inside and see if we can't solve this little problem here. Who can I talk to? Who wants to talk? My darling, listen to me. You brought me here. You did this. Do not interfere. He's coming home with me. Oh, we're not using our talking character. Okay, um... Calm yourself, Shade. We can resolve this peacefully. Another one who wants to control me. He called me here. Trapped me little childish boy I mean that's pretty true I only wished to explain myself to make you see how no enough of your whining enough selfish arrogant bastard of an artist I wanted to be left in peace please tell us what happened to you and how does that help me or is it just to help him why does everything always have to revolve around Oscar Feveras? Oh, my sweet Carrie. What did I do to you? Save your tears for the ethereal play. Ooh, we have bad rolls on all of these. We do have plus three with intimidation. That might be the best one, but we also have advantage with persuasion. So let's try this. Ask yourself, will killing this man make you happy, give you purpose, or are you better than this? We have, we have minus one. Super. Let's use improved bardic inspiration and guidance and also quick save. We do want to resolve this peacefully if we can. It's possible that that worked. And it did. Just barely. What are you saying? You're trying to confuse me. It's so hard to think. I don't remember. Carrie, my sweet meat. I, I just need to know that what you did, that it wasn't my fault. Why am I here? I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be. The spirit's aura flickers, changes. She is confused, lost, dragged here unwillingly by a man who refused to let her leave. What? The phrase sweet meat is kind of horrifying. 
Oscar does not matter. You do. Say what you need to say to him, no matter how difficult it is. Again, we have our negative roll, and uh, we're going to use improved bardic inspiration, I guess. And we it's a DC 14 this time, which is a little bad, but uh, it's going to be fun. Or DC 18, sorry, not 14. But we did succeed. Look at that. Good roll, finally. Nice. Fine. If Oscar wants the truth, he can have it. We were a fling, nothing more. My decision had nothing to do with him. I did this because I was so fucking sad all the time. Oscar finds it easier to imagine a world where women kill themselves over him than one where they have their own bloody problems. I'm sorry, Kerry. I had no idea, but I, I was truly not to blame. That's what you're taking from no. this, you freaking idiot. You weren't. So you and your poxy paintings stay away from me. We're done, Oscar. Over. Now let me rest in bloody peace. Well, we solved that little God issue. The mess I've made of it all. My sweet Ferelia. I've been a rotten fool, haven't I? And yet you never left my side. It will take more than a ghost to scare me away. Though I wish you'd come to me sooner. That's it? You're just gonna forgive him? I'm no fool. I know Oscar loved another when we met. But when we made our vows, I meant them. Throughout my ordeal, I saw how tenderly you cared for me. Even at my worst, you never left my side. Truly, you were the one who saved me. I'm so sorry, my darling. Jeth deserves more than an apology for what you put her through. A debt I'll spend a lifetime You're both repay. terrible people, though, to be honest. As for you, my noble friend, our account can be settled far more quickly. Come upstairs to my atelier. I promise you'll leave with something priceless. Immortality. Well, you guys are... Uh, I guess we're going upstairs to get immortality. He's going to paint us, isn't he? He is for sure going to paint us. I'm not exactly thrilled with the prospect of this being our reward from... A truly selfish and abhorrent human being, but here we are. He dragged a ghost from the afterlife, where presumably she was peaceful, peaceful, just to tell her that he doesn't think it was his fault that she died. And it wasn't. He's just a moron. Anyways, let's go deal with this. Here she is, the hero of the hour. Brushes are oiled, the canvas prepped, and you... Well, you're comfortable. That's the main thing. So, shall we begin? How long is this going to take? Oh, not long at all. I've rather a good memory for faces, and I've been sketching yours since my return. I just need to add the final touches to capture that unique twinkle in your eye. So, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Wonderful. Stand yourself just there. And... And voila! <sighs> All it needs now is a name. Something to... Capture the spirit in which it was created. Hmm. The mighty defender, actually the ghost whisperer. Perhaps not the thing you'll be remembered for, but a fine quality, nonetheless. Adds a certain mystique, I think. Please, take it in for a moment. It's not every day one's face is preserved for posterity. He really 
captured you. Beautiful. All right. Well, we freed the artist, who is an awful person. We got the Ghost Whisperer, which is a legendary portrait, which is worth 1,500 gold. It's worth a sizable amount of money, actually. I guess Oscar is a well-known artist, so... Anywho, we solved that little issue, and now it's time to do more things. We have to rescue Orin's victim at some point in time. We really haven't done that yet. Um, we're not freeing Orpheus, probably. We're not becoming a Mind Flayer, because that sounds evil. We need to avenge the Iron Hands, which is blowing up a thing. We found most of Dribble's stuff. Uh, what do we need? We have a hand... We have a torso. I think we just need a head. Oh no, sorry. We found about half the corpse. I guess. We'll find more corpse pieces eventually. It's fine. Uh, Alright, so. What are we going to do now? I think what we're going to do now is go start the Stone Lord stuff. Let's head down into the bank, I think. Where's the bank? It's right there. What's the fastest way there? Where are we? We're here. We're going the wrong way. I've got a long road ahead. Let's go this way. And then down this way. And then we're going to go to the bank and deal with the Stone Lord and the problems associated with it. It is kind of annoying that we can't get to the back of the bank yet, because we desperately need to get back there to do that one quest that we picked up where we have to dig up the uh, cache. It's right here somewhere, but if we come out this door, we get in a lot of trouble, and we don't think there's any way to get around this area without running into all of the guards. Because even if we jumped across from here, we'd have to be stealth and then go somehow in here. It might actually be easiest to jump... Oh, I can't jump over from that side, I don't think. Anyways, where are we? Uh, we need to go down here. And then this way. And then this way. Just need to see your vault pass, please. Absolutely. Here you are. What's in order? Blessed day to you. I like her armor. It's really cool looking. All sorts of perception checks just... Hitting off right now? That's fine. I'm not too concerned. The traps don't arm unless you are breaking into the bank, and then they might blow you up. Vault Visitor Log. Let's read this. This log records a list of recent visits to the Counting House vaults. Bloris Mead Honey. Cynthia Baunprof. Or Kath Glitter Beard. Who's giving the Stone Lord a tour of the lower vaults. Sir Glitterbeard has requested I step out of the vaults to provide the client's privacy. That sounds bad. We can also rob the vaults, which is what we're going to do. At least some of them. So when you come into this room, you notice there's this thing on the ground. If you step on it, it just teleports you right back to the beginning. Easy way of getting this done. You can mage hand this, I think, but even easier, just shoot the buttons. And then you can just walk. No big deal. Look at that. No problemo. I'm going to open up all these vaults really quickly. Might as well grab guidance while here. There are also vaults on the other side. We're not going to take those ones because they are practically worthless. They just have money and stuff in them. So does this one apparently, but... Um, the other side just has like little trinkets and stuff like that. A couple scrolls, actually. There is one vault, I think, that has some decent scrolls inside of it, like a disintegrate scroll. And I think maybe, like, a gate? No, that doesn't sound right. Maybe a summon, like, planar scroll. I don't remember exactly what it has in it, but... Oh, never mind. This is the one. Scroll disintegrate and Otto's Irresistible Dance. Really good spell, actually. Um, so we really don't need to go to the other side. I was incorrect about which side the scrolls were on. 
I think the other side just has some money gems. I think some ingots, maybe. We're good. Oh, we failed. Huh. Well, let's try again. Much better. Wasn't actually expecting to fail this. Um, so we're not going to go do them. They're really easy to get into. You don't have to do a lot. This is just wine. I don't really need that. Um, what was I saying? Right. You just Misty Step or Dimension Door or one of those types of things into it. And then lockpick them. I'll show you what it looks like just so you have an idea and how to get in. But we're not going to go do them all. It's just a waste of time for us. We have tons of gold. And we have tons of things to sell if we need to. Also, I'd like to stop rolling badly now. Thanks. Uh, more money and a scroll of revivify, which is nice. And more gold. And a jacinth. Jacinth? Jason? Not entirely sure how to pronounce that, but that's fine. Opening more vaults. And not taking any of that stuff. I guess I'll take the gold bars and the... Oops, I meant to take the diamond, but I guess we're taking the sapphire as well. Alright, let's leave. The other hey side looks not at all similar, actually. Very different. So you have to Misty Step or Dimension Door or whatever into these little alcoves. I think this one's empty, or this one of these two is empty. So, just heads up. That would be a waste of time, but they're not all that interesting. I'm going to take whatever's in here, though, because it's just right here. 105 gold. We're leaving. Moving on. This is a puzzle, and I vaguely remember... I think I might actually remember the combo from the last time I did this. I'm going to try. See what happens. Should mind my step. I think it's this. This this. Yeah. I only remember that because it took so many attempts last time that, that the first three were burned into my head and I was pretty sure that was the fourth one. It was dude, dude, dude. It took so long last time to do that. And, uh, yeah. It's still moving. Hush your fussing. Nine Fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories. Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist the Drow Exile. Heroes have power eye. But not. Half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. Moradin's cracked clay. In here. I love Minsk. <sighs> if there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath. It is those who are tricksome with the truth. And turnips. But you are no turnip. Let that be of comfort in your final moments. <laughs> Meet Minsk. He still seems very much himself to me. Oh my gods. I'm gonna faint. Wait, Jahira. He doesn't seem in any state to listen. You will listen to me. 
enough play, Stone Lord. What in the howling hells? Nine fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. She's disappearing into shadow. She's clearly Enough. a baddie. Let us deal with these cultists. Then find out where they are nesting. Oh, well, there's enemies literally right beside us. This is gonna hurt. That was a lot of damage. That one's now invisible again. Death's head, another reaper. When's our first turn? Karlak is a little bit now. Except that she's stunned, so that's not a great first turn. We rolled absolute garbage on our initiative. We are, yeah, we have nothing to do for a bit. All right, let's just let this play itself out. Maybe take a little bit of a nap. At least there's a cash guard that's helping us and got rid of some unstoppable. That's nice. Maybe the cash guards will do something useful. Oh, that was a lot of damage. 22 damage off of a throw is pretty good. You guys need to start hitting more attacks, though. Getting rid of some of those unstoppables for us, because our attacks are going to suck if there's everything's unstoppable. Where's the enemies that were all up here? Well, there's one there he does have unstoppable on. My hackles raised. There's one right here with no unstoppable. We can probably just turn into paste, honestly. Unless we critically miss our first attack, like normal. Well, there's one dead. I can't quite reach that one. And if we jump, that'll be our bonus action. Don't waste a Messy. Anyone over here? No. We could do the jumpy thing. No, we can't, because we have no movement speed left. Alright, well, just stay there then. You can go we fight this one, I guess. Must. Unstoppable one down. I might use um action surge. Though that seems to be a little less useful now. Well, let's do a piercing strike and see what happens. Gaping wounds, nice, it worked. All right, you guys, you guys need to do stuff. Hopefully, you can. That actually worked shockingly well. You're gonna get AOO'd for sure. Where are you go You know, I will take that. That was a lot of damage. That one really went to town. Let's also Guardian Spirits up. We'll use Radiant Damage. There's one. I'm gonna go over here. You know what? No, let's stay here. Do I wanna use any more spells? No. Let's just let's just remain here. Ow. Opportunity attack. We'll add a radiant damage in there, why not? Stop hitting our ma Oh, we should have um, raged up, probably. And Jahira's gonna be stunned. That figures. Ow. Please stop. Unstoppable one. And. Decent amount of damage there, honestly. Okay, it should be Karlak's turn. In theory, shortly. She can probably mow this one down in one hit. 
Unless, of course, she misses. Let's just use our offhand attack to finish it off. No point in using two, and we can shoot down there and hit that one, maybe. Yeah, worked out pretty well. That guy is definitely going to die. Oh yeah, 100%. He is dead, for sure. Unless this Reaper doesn't kill him for some reason. Nope, attacking Karlak. I guess with Shadowheart we're going to have to do a heal at some point. Although the Shroud itself doesn't seem to be working too well. Decent damage to that guy. It's our main character's turn. Now unfortunately I can't see anyone around this area. And it's not Shadowheart's turn so we can't move. So we're probably going to take an AOO. No, we're fine. Okay, let's just jump. We can actually jump the entire way here. Try and save that guy's life. How heroic was that jump? Let's just talk about that. That was amazing. And then a critical miss wasn't all that good, though, to be honest. Um, I don't know where the rest of them are, so let's go look around a little bit. Stun, stun, stun. Yeah, we don't know where they are currently. There's still a bunch of them. We did kill another one, though. There it is. There's another one right there. It's unfortunately its turn next, and there's no way we can kill it. Even if we maxed out our Sacred Flame roll, which is extremely unlikely. We're also using the wrong weapon. We're using some stupid... thing. That's okay. No big deal. Get some bless going. Actually, can we switch weapons now? Is that an action? That might be an action. Missed and critical hit. That's a little bit painful. It's now invisible again. Don't know exactly where it is. This one's here somewhere. A little bit unsure as to where it's gone. We know that one is around here somewhere. Did it work? It didn't work. You guys didn't find it. That's that's fine. Um, We don't know where that one is. We don't know where that one is. We do know where this one is, though. I'm going to use Misty Step to get us into a position where we can actually shoot it. Another one dead. So there's three enemies left, one of which is almost dead. One of which we cannot see at all. There it is. We're going to have to move Shadowheart down towards it, I think. Landed somewhere. Oh. One right there. Shoot him. Good job. Our main character can probably kill this one in this turn. Fight, Unless we fail our roll. It's another one dead. We still don't know where one of them is. It's like right here somewhere. You can tell. Maybe just like stab right there. How about right there? Nope. Okay. Well, we tried. Drink another potion. You should drink a potion. Or not. I guess you'll just stand there and hopefully not die. Moving. Okay, that one's dead. Can we jump down here? Oh, we dash. That's fine. Dash might help. It could be right around here somewhere, but it's not. I don't know where it is. There's only one left alive. Somewhere. Right here. Damn it, I was just out of range of it. Okay. Next Shadow Hearts turn, we should be able to find it. It's right here. And that will hopefully allow us to kill it. In theory.
Let's try and get up there. I like landed on him. He's right here. Can't just randomly hit. Darn. Okay. We got hit for one necrotic damage because we didn't do any damage this turn. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of casually walk down here, and there he is. Smack him in the face. No, no, we don't need to react. Carlac should be able to shoot him. Walk here and then fire up, probably. We don't have any more misty steps, so. Oh, we're out of range, aren't we? Hmm. Can we jump? We can dash, which removes one action. But we'll still have our bonus actions. We still could shoot. Which will end the fight. Great! That wasn't too bad. There have been worse fights. Let's go talk to Rakath Glitterbeard, the man who almost died. That is really the only named person here now. You can tell Nine Fingers this was not my fault. She swore that mimic could swallow a bloody owlbear. Wait. You're no guild sworn. Who are you? I'm the heroic tale you tell your children. A touch of gratitude is in order. Gratitude of the gold variety, I suppose. No, you I don't mean. care about that. Good luck with that. The Stone Lord just cleared our vaults. And now he has enough gold to make himself a lord in truth. And he wouldn't even know what to spend it on. It's the cult that needs that money. Why? You think anyone told me? Nine Fingers sent word the Stone Lord was going to try his luck on our vaults. So she told me to cooperate. Lure him in. Yes, sir, Stone Lord, sir. Shall we open the account in your name or the absolutes? Just. Step this way to your special deposit box. Don't mind the teeth. <laughs> no one mentioned he might have some old crone dropping in as backup. Crone? Uh, look, I just mean to say, we both want him caught. If you've got your sights set on the Stone Lord, anyway. I do. As chairman of the Fellowship of Financiers, I can assure you we'd reward you well for the return of the koi he took. Not for us, you understand. For the common Baldurian. Who knows what he's planning to do with it. How much was taken? Try all of it. Every penny of civilian lodgings, anyway. I mean, not like we'd lead him into the private vaults, but still. A lot of Baldurians waking up poor tomorrow. What he can do with that kind of coin... Oh, ...doesn't bear thinking about. I just need to find Minsk. I care nothing for coin. Good for you. I happen to care a very great deal. Retrieve the coin. And I'll make sure you are well rewarded. There's treasures greater than gold. Feel free to poke around this place and it'll help you pick up the Stone Lord's scent. Me, I've got ledgers to amend. Okay, I'm gonna go open up all of these things because... Well, I don't care about gold, there is actually some decent items hidden in here, I believe. And since it's not Almost. technically red to lockpick it... It is, however, hard. Like, we need to roll an 11 still to get through these. We critically succeeded that one. And inside is a Nymph Cloak Dominate Person and a Spell Savant Amulet. Extra level 2 spell. Uh -huh. He doesn't care if we steal from these, by the way. There's just a lot of them. And they're hard to open. That's it. I think we're going to end the video here. In between videos, I'll go through and try and open all these vaults. And, uh, yeah, get them all done. It'll take us a bit, but ultimately we will be successful. And we'll have some cool items, like advantage on persuasion and deception checks, for example. Pretty neat. Don't care about any of this other junk, we're just going to leave it behind. In the end, though, I'm actually going to put that hat on for that advantage roll. 
We'll uh, continue on our way. We'll get Minsk in the next video. For now, I'll leave you here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.